Hey nerds, what's up? I have a video kind of about self-care. I want to talk about some things I like to do for self-care. And I also have some things that kind of correlate with that, that go along with it. And some of them you could get discounts on and some of them it's just fun and I have an unboxing. And so let's get right on into this. <laughs> Firstly, I do want to talk about self-care. What is self-care? For, for different people, it can mean different things. For me, it can mean different things on different days. And so um, one thing that I do do for self-care that makes me feel better when I do it is like actually taking care of like things I need to do, like going to the doctor and stuff. And so recently, Firmu, which is a glasses company, contacted me and asked me if I wanted to get a free pair of glasses from them and do a review for them. And I love Firmu. I've done, I've had them before, so these are from Firmu. I've had glasses from them many times. I really love their company because they're always so affordable. You, all you need to do is go to your optometrist, you need to get your RX or your prescription, and then you upload it onto Firmu's website and then you can pick out your glasses. Certain things might cost more, like I always pay $5 extra to get the no glare. You can get the blue tone. You can get, if you have like um, the two prescription glasses, that costs a little bit more. Like different things cost a little bit more, but in general they're so affordable where, where you're paying like $100 with insurance at the optometrist like I'm saying this is like $30 at the most like 30 to 50 and it's insane so right now I actually have a code for you down in the description bar that you can get one dollar glasses prescription glasses for one dollar I think you still have to pay shipping so if you click that link that's under the one dollar one you can get that and then if that has also expired by the time you watch this I think that it's gonna be live for a month after I post this but if for some reason it's past that I also have a nine dollar ninety nine discount for prescription glasses like let me repeat that prescription glasses for nine dollars and ninety nine cents what so yeah, I really highly recommend. I've, like I said, had had many different glasses from them. I always find that they fit my face really well. They also have like all of the dimensions on their website. So like if you really want to get into it, which I have done, like and measure so that you can kind of get an idea of how big they're going to be on your face. They have all the dimensions and everything on there. And yeah, I just, I really love this company a lot. So highly recommend. Um, so that's something that I do for self care is like really actually going to the doctor and like doing those boring appointments that nobody really wants to do but then you're like ah, I'm stressed because I haven't gone to the doctor in seven months and I need to and so that's something that I do for self care. I also have been really loving going to the gym. Sometimes what self care looks like for me is choosing not to go to the gym like I'm too busy, I'm tired. You know, I need to take care of myself in that respect and so sometimes it means not going but in general what I have found is that going to the gym is very like my self time. Another thing that I've been loving is I bought FabFitFun and the reason that this is important is because in this box is so much skincare. So skincare is a huge thing for me now. It didn't used to be, but it is now. There's something about taking my makeup off at the end of the night, really taking care of my skin before going to bed, that's really important to me these days. Um, so, in this box, I have things. So, FabFitFun is every three month box, and I just bought this for myself. I found a 50% off discount and bought my first box myself and decided to go with it and see if I liked it so that I could make the decision to keep subscribing. And I think I will because I, I've actually opened this box already. I do have a discount that's like not an affiliate link or anything, it's just like everybody gets the link. It's like for friends or whatever, so I did put that in the description box and I, I don't know what discount it gives you, but it does give you a discount if you're interested and I think I get like a free like extra item in my next box if you sign up with my code or something like that. But again, it's not affiliate or like representative, anything like that. Um, but I got a ha hair towel, so you know, one of these guys. Got a hair towel in this. <clears throat> the other thing about this box is that 
some of the items you can pick and some of the items are a surprise and then there's also a cer certain amount of items that you can pick from and like add to for extra money which I did not do um, I happen to pick my box really late in the season for the fall box like I said it, it they come out every three months so usually they'll like announce that the box is available and then you can go in and you can pick your items and the later it gets to when they're gonna send them out the less opportunities you have to pick because some things are sold out and stuff so keep that in mind with all of this but I also got this these are complexion perfecting pads for your face gently wipe your face in the morning and evening to improve the skin's complexion and this is from the brand Nasi Nasif MD Dermaceuticals and then I also got an Aveda or Aveda Damage Remedy Hair Repair. So this is daily hair repair, instant visible repair, protects from heat styling. So it's for heat styling. So you shake well, work a small amount of product into your hands, apply through damp hair and comb to distribute. I blow dry my hair almost every day now, so that is going to be very useful. I'm also thinking about dyeing my hair. So then I also have... Harper and Ari's exfoliating sugar cubes and these are to use in the bathtub or in the shower and you're supposed to exfoliate with them which is really cool there's one two three four five there's eight of them in here so that's nice that's eight showers or baths are you guys shower people or bath people one thing that I don't really do for self-care is baths I just find them sweaty like this one is Kate Somerville Skin Health Esper Experts for all skin types. This is in the AM or PM once or twice a week. Apply a thin, even layer to a clean, wet face, and you massage it in circular motions for 30 seconds. Leave on uh, for up to two minutes. Rinse and gently pat dry. The next thing is Aromatherapy Deep Relax Roller Ball. Oh, I'm excited about this one. I've made my own essential oil all uh, roller ball at my work because we're really into essential oils at my work if you don't know I work with teenagers in a rehab facility and they're in there for like anything under the sun essentially mm. Matt's gonna hate this scent it smells like old women but I like it definitely like the one that I made better just saying but essential oils are really expensive so that is something that I also really like for self-care when I'm at work a lot of times I'll take some lavender essential oil and put them like right here under my ears and like on my wrists and then I'll turn on the like ar aromatherapy like thing that we have put some in there and like <sighs> love it especially when it's um, when I'm working the night shift for the last hour the girls are already asleep and we're just like finishing paperwork so I'll turn that on turn on our like dimmer light which is like a cat crystal and then like lower the regular lights Ooh, love that that's something I do for self-care at work next I have the better skin company better skin lava magic and this is a cleanser scrub mask this is supposed to be daily exfoliating scrub and revitalizing mask and I also have Humankind skincare with a conscience body souffle and it's in the uh, scent cream souffle lightly whipped for the ultimate in kindness oh it has an orange scent one thing that I'm not very good at is like moisturizing my body or even my, even my hands I'm way better at just my face so those are all the things I got in Fat Fit Fun Box. Um, so all of this, like, I'm really into the skincare, really into the essential oils, um, the gym. Those are some things I really love to do for self-care. Also just, like, sitting down with a glass of wine or something and just, like, watching my favorite show, watching a show with Matt or movies, um, reading. Like, all of that stuff is also all self-care. And sometimes it's just about, like, taking a step for you. One thing I also really like to do for self-care, but like the bank account doesn't love when I do this for self-care, is shopping. So um, a few months ago I went shopping and I went to Forever 21. I found a big sale online and I went shopping there. I also went shopping this weekend and I got some things. And I got like a cute jacket and some shoes because... The other thing I always do, I like to keep my clothes until they're threadbare. Like, I like to keep my shoes until there's holes in the 
in the soles because I want to get the best and most out of what I pay for. So some of my shoes are really falling apart. They're really ratty and gross. So I needed to get some, but it's also nice to like go shopping for yourself spruce up your wardrobe etc and one thing that I really wanted to show you is my last thing to give you like a discount on and it is my sunglasses so I got these from Greeks glasses and I am a representative for them now so this is promoted but not sponsored and so these are the glasses I got these are like their most sold ones and I was trying not to be the basic bitch and buy their most sold sunglasses but I couldn't resist because these are fucking hot to me like they're rose gold, it's my favorite. My wedding ring is rose gold, they match. And I loved this like little piece, the metal on the glasses. The one thing I will say that I was surprised by is that the color that you see when you're putting these on is a blue tone and I was expecting it to be a warm tone. Um, I usually prefer a warmer tone for like what I see from the sunglasses. Let me see, can I make this? Blue tone? Oh yeah, see like this is straight up blue tone. So I was expecting it to be more of this color, but it's definitely a cool tone and I had to get a little bit used to that, but still really, really like them. So I do have a discount code for if you want to buy a pair of sunglasses. They're 40% off if you use my code um, down below. I think it's AMB1239 uh, at checkout, then you will get 40% off of your order. So that would be awesome if you guys really like the sunglasses. They have a shit ton of choices too. Like They have a whole lot of options on there. Same with Firmu. There's so many different frames. So like if this isn't your style, it doesn't necessarily mean it's not for you. I highly recommend looking at both of these websites. I like the glasses themselves, like they're nice and they're not too heavy, but you can definitely, you know, they're not falling off your face because they're too light. Um, they like fit on my ears really well. Another thing with like metal, when they're metal like this, they tend to like squeeze my face and then I get a headache from the indentation and I'm not finding that with these. I've been wearing them for like maybe three weeks and I don't find that they like cause me any pain when I'm wearing them for a long time and sometimes with the metal frames I find that that happens. As far as self care goes I'm really loving like finding some style like my hair is growing out so I'm like still struggling with its length and I'm trying to get it into a true bob and so I'm loving like messing around with my headband. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram. I just actually changed my Instagram and my Twitter handle from Miss Sassy Cassie to Sassy with two Y's underscore Cassie and that's because I'm officially a missus like I've been a missus but I also just recently finally changed my last name so it really is starting to feel real to go follow me but if you follow me then you'll see like I sometimes put my hair up in little two like clippies and so I'm also just like really having some fun playing with my hair and like playing with my style and all that stuff so yeah and like kind of also playing with my Instagram like spicing it up or really trying to utilize it I guess and you know like actively take part in this channel that I make I don't know like all of that is all self-care for me too some other things that I do for self-care is like I'm a to-do list person so um, I try to make a to-do list like in the morning ish every day or I also make my workout plan for the week every Sunday usually I go in and on my planner I say okay on Sunday I'm gonna do this workout on Tuesday I'm gonna go to this class Wednesday I'm gonna take a break like I make that plan and then obviously like I was saying at the beginning of the class when I was talking at the gym I'm sorry that this video is kind of all over the place. When I was time at the gym earlier, I was saying that sometimes self-care means not going, and that's okay. So obviously I make the plan at the beginning of the week, but if it doesn't happen, then I I don't try I try not to like feel bad. And especially if it's just one time, like not going to the gym one time is not gonna hurt. But it does take 30 days to make habit. So I highly recommend if you're wanting to make any sort of change, whether it's food, it's working out, it's like anything then it does take 30 days it only takes 30 days to make a habit so do it um, another really big thing that I like to do for self-care is my nails and my toes recently I actually went and got a manicure which is not something I do very often because again I 
I like a discount. I can paint my own nails very well. I've had lots of practice because I've been doing it by myself, like for myself for a really long time. So I have a steady hand with it. But I did go and get a manicure with my grandma when I was up visiting with her. So sometimes it means going and getting a manicure or I've gone and gotten massages before. Um, it just depends on like what kind of income I have and stuff like that. Like what kind of extra income I should say and stuff like that for those types of things. But something that I usually do once a week isn't material to making money is I paint my nails and my toes. So I sit and I listen to a podcast or watch YouTube or a movie or whatever and I sit and I do my nails and it's something that doesn't take like a lot of brain focus so you can do like it's something entertaining. I've listened to meditation music before doing it too. Like if you really need that like inner peace to go on um, but painting my nails is something very nice for me because not taking a lot of brain power but taking enough focus that you have to do it and you have to like focus on not touching anything and all that stuff and then my last thing that I did want to talk about was the meditation music I found this yoga and meditation playlist on Spotify and I'm obsessed with it. I've been listening to it basically any time that I decide to read like sit down and read a physical book if I'm not like doing something else like whatever I don't know but if I'm at home I tend to put that on and listen to the meditation music and uh, a couple weeks ago I know that if you watched my vlogs for Contemporary-a-thon you might know this but I was having a really really bad week and I ended up just sitting there and listening to the meditation music for like 30 minutes before my class started and that has been really nice as well I really really love that meditation music obviously some songs are better than others but in general it's just very calming to me so those are some not by any means all, but some of my self-care stuff that I do. Uh, what do you guys do for self-care? Do you like to cook? Do you like to like make stuff, like draw and stuff? Those aren't my types of self-care usually, but it definitely can be. So what do you guys like to do? Not just like for fun, but to like make sure that you check in with yourself and, and really give yourself the moment that you might need. So I'd love to hear about some of your self-care choices that you guys make. Other things that I like to do is also cuddle my cats. I like to do that too. Sometimes you just need it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys take advantage of the different discounts that I have down below. I hope that there's like, it's not too annoying to hear that. I hope that you guys like hearing about discounts. Like, bro, I'm always looking for a discount, man. Like, give it all to me, please. I'm very excited to be a rep for Greeks Glasses and to be partnering with Fermu again. Um, that's always really fun. I, again, really love their glasses as well. And then like I said before, FabFitFun isn't a partnership or anything, but there is a discount code because like, if I'm the subscriber, then I can give you my friend's discount or whatever and get you guys a discount when you sign up. So that's what that is. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I make videos every Thursday and Saturday and you can always hit that little notification bell anytime you want to notified when I make a video. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!